just standing here watching the World Trade Center after the first after the first plane hit. I just saw a second plane come in from the south and hit the south tower halfway between the, the bottom and the top of the tower. It's got to be a, a terrorist attack. Since the attacks on the United States on September 11, 2001, the U.S. and its coalition allies have focused on denying terrorists a safe haven in Afghanistan while helping to bring peace to this war-torn country. The U.S. and other coalition forces deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom are fighting the war against terrorism by successfully eliminating extremist Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters and a determined criminal element in the effort to stabilize the country. Still today, we are fighting an enemy that threatens the security of Afghanistan, the United States, and our allies. Forces from the U.S. and other coalition countries are working closely with the Afghan National Security Forces to defeat the enemy and provide a shield behind which security, reconstruction, and good governance efforts can progress. By us being here providing security, maybe we'll deter the Taliban and Al-Qaeda from coming to those, those areas so the, the projects can be completed. Nothing can, can get established without security. It is very obvious that they are away from their own families. They are here to help this poor and needy country. They try to do their best. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Three decades of war has scarred the face of Afghanistan. Yet the Afghan people continue relentlessly to rebuild this rich country with the help of coalition forces. We're here in Afghanistan, helping the Afghan people, uh, building capacity in their government so that uh, the Afghan government can take care of the Afghan people. U.S. and other international forces operate 24 reconstruction centers called Provincial Reconstruction Teams, or PRTs. They exist to guide and help provincial and district governments to provide basic necessities to their people and build infrastructure and economic capacity to sustain their communities. Projects include new roads, wells, power sources, bridges, schools, hospitals, military training facilities, government buildings, and orphanages. The Americans built us schools and roads in every single village. They also helped us a great deal with safety and security, which is a big issue for us. We are now safe and secure. The elders got together and went to the governor and said we are ready to work together with the Americans and coalition forces on our security issues. We promised the governor that we are ready to report insurgents to the authorities. The Afghan National Army, or ANA, and the Afghan National Police, the ANP, are taking on more responsibility for their country's security every day. The Afghan National Army, non-existent just three years ago, is now a trained and equipped army, 37,000 strong and growing, to defend and protect its citizens from insurgents. A landmine was found in this area. I cleared the area with my 12 men. I am also the security commander of this village. I told the Americans anytime you want to come to this village, I will clear the area of danger for you. I want to make sure they are safe. The ANA and the ANP have been doing an excellent job on learning how to pull security. It is important to have a strong Afghan National Army and Afghan National Police so we can defend our country, especially our borders from foreign enemies. You know, thanks to the AMP and the ANG coming out, the Afghan National Guard coming out and assisting us, you know, it really lets them see that, you know, we're here to give the country to them. We're here to help them. The Afghan First program was designed to stimulate the economy and provide quality training to unskilled workers. It's absolutely critical that we hire the Afghans first, and we do this in every mission that we, we 
in, get involved in at the PRT, we hire only Afghan contractors, and in many of the projects, we, they, we insist that they use local laborers when they need unskilled labor, and it's absolutely critical to the economy of the country. The key is to employ Afghans so they can further develop their country, both economically and structurally. And the most important thing I tell every contractor that we sign a contract with, you're building a job for your people. You know, would you want your parents to walk across a bridge that's going to cave in? And I think it motivates them to do a little bit better job on the project. I, I know it's working what we're doing over here, and I really believe that eventually Afghanistan will be able to stand on their own feet. Insufficient roads and rugged, mountainous terrain make distribution of supplies very difficult. But service members consistently and willingly travel out to isolated villages to deliver life-saving medical assistance and supplies. What we try to do is get involved with the local uh, medical society and the local surgeons and uh, Ministry of Health and uh, try to understand the medical system that's in place here and do our part to give them a little bit uh, more span of control in those smaller villages so that those folks can get, uh, get a little better health care. Saw over 1,300 patients in a matter of three days, anywhere from tuberculosis to uh, hepatitis, polio, extreme cases of polio. I had the opportunity to potentially save at least three people's lives. I know that for a fact. So. Uh, it's a great opportunity, very fulfilling. The MedCap, what, what we did yesterday, you know, that's something they should show on the news. That, that's, that's what's really happening in the country. There's more of that than anything, of, of people helping people, no matter what nation. We all volunteered for this mission. Well, we all think it's an important mission to, to uh, secure the, the freedom of Afghanistan, so they're a little bit more independent, and uh, help them build their, their infrastructure from uh, their governance to, and what our focus is, their, their medical capabilities. Uh, I think it's going to leave this country in a, in a great state and uh, where we won't have to come back. So we have a good relationship with the people here in the village and of course as everybody in Afghanistan they, they are in need and so we wanted to do a humanitarian drop here so we can help the kids out. We're giving them some backpacks for school because most of the kids are in school even though if it's just a few hours a day and that's what we're trying to do is help them out as much as we can. The Americans help our people a great deal. They help every one of our government agencies. They help to stand the city on its feet. Well, this is my very first uh, mission, and I have to say that I am overjoyed with what we're doing here. It makes me feel great inside to see their faces when they receive the, the assistance that we are providing them. Children are the future of the country. Well, um, this country is not going to be fixed in 10 years, you know, but in the next 20, 30 years, you know, those are the people that are going to be running the country. So. You know, if they, they remember the Americans as helping them out, um, rebuilding their country, giving them food and water and everything else, it's, uh, it's going to be a positive aspect because that is the future of this country. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Without education, a person is a blind person. Education will open your eyes so you can feel and see. These students studied English and computer classes with the help of Americans and some foreign organizations. They all received certificates and I am very proud of them. I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer, and I want to be a teacher so I can teach other kids. I 
I am very thankful for the Americans' help and really appreciate what they are doing for us and our province. I'm not trying to say we're here to do things for the government we're, or for the people. We're here to help the people help themselves so, so they can stand on their own two feet after we're, after we're gone. Therefore, I am saying every single step will help this country because the local people of this country need everything. The United States and the coalition effort, I mean, it is a world effort here. It's an international effort here. The effort here is making Afghanistan a better place. The world recognizes that we need to be here to help them. But more importantly, the Afghans recognize that it's in their best interest to allow us and others to help them as they help themselves. The U.S. role is critical here. Without the United States, uh, Afghanistan would have not been a free country today. Without the United States, Afghanistan would have, even now, been ruled by Al-Qaeda and terrorism. Our children would have not been in school, there would have not been a democracy here, we would have not had a parliament, we would have not had a free press, and all the other associated accomplishments with it. We would have not been, would have not been traveling on, on, on asphalted roads now, from uh, one point to other points of the country. So a lot has been achieved uh, without the U.S., all of this achievement would have not been there. Rather, we would have been living a very miserable life here. The progress that Afghanistan has made since 2001 is truly miraculous. But the country remains the target of terrorists, drug traffickers, and a determined criminal element. The war on terror began in Afghanistan and continues on in an unrelenting way. We must never forget why U.S. forces are here. Today, there are some 20,000 U.S. service members in Afghanistan who continue to battle insurgents side by side with the Afghan National Security Forces. They are here as part of the continuing U.S. and international commitment to ensure that Afghanistan never again becomes a safe haven for terrorists. We are fighting hard, and we are winning. This presence is crucial to help the Afghan people realize a vision of stability and viability as a self-sustaining member of the international community and to once again prosper in the future.